Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. And welcome to the Salesforce Marketing Cloud keynote. And welcome to the age of intelligent marketing. My name is John Suarez Davis. Everybody just calls me JSD. And I'm the Chief Strategy Officer at the Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Is everybody having a fantastic Dreamforce? Yeah? All right. Listen, I am incredibly excited to be with you here today. This is my first Dreamforce as part of the Salesforce Ohana, the Salesforce family. But I've been in marketing for 20 plus years. I started on the agency side, then I moved over to the customer side, and I worked for Kellogg's for many years. And now I'm at Salesforce, here with you today to talk about how data and technology is enabling us to connect with consumers in totally new ways. This is really exciting stuff. Now, this is a really great time to be a marketer, to be a marketing trailblazer. And I want to just start out by welcoming everyone back home to Dreamforce. And I want to thank you for inspiring, for pushing us to make the best marketing cloud platform to engage consumers. You know, we are building something great together. And I want to thank you for it. So thank you. Now, yesterday, you heard Mark speak about the fourth industrial revolution and how transformational technologies are creating entirely new market opportunities. And, and these transformational technologies, such as artificial intelligence and 3D printing and the Internet of Things, they're, they're fusing the digital world with the physical world, and they're creating these new and powerful connections that are changing our economies, our societies, and, and even our daily lives. You know, and as marketers, we get it. We deeply understand this because we're leading a revolution in marketing, a revolution to get closer to the consumer. And, and this journey has taken us from mass marketing to the rise of the internet and digital marketing, where we started to get closer to the consumer, right? We started to open up online dialogue, but now we are entering the age of intelligent marketing, where data and transformational technology, such as artificial intelligence, are enabling us to engage with consumers at scale. And we've never been able to do this before. And this is enabling marketers to deeply understand consumer behavior unlock rich insights, and deliver what we all want to do, which is these exceptional brand interactions that meet and ideally exceed consumers' expectations. And it is absolutely imperative that we understand the pace of change in consumers' expectations in an always-on, always-connected world. Now, you know, when you came in today, you are living in a world where consumers have, on average, three connected devices. They spend about four hours a day on their phone, and about a third of their time online is spent in various social channels. But in just two short years, that's one marketing planning cycle for many of you in this audience. You will need to think about a world where consumers have, on average, 10 connected devices. And it's not just as simple as another mobile screen or a connected TV. No, you need to think about how we're going to engage with consumers through digital assistants like Alexa or Google Home and virtual reality environments. And all these devices will throw off an immense amount of valuable data signals that we need to capture, make sense of, and then apply artificial intelligence to deliver these exceptional brand experiences that, that drive our business. But you know, uh, let's, let's be honest. The marketplace has not made it easy on you, not by a long shot. Just six years ago, there were about 150 marketing technology point solutions. Fast forward to today, there are 5,000 point solutions in this highly dynamic, highly fragmented technology landscape. How does that possibly get you closer to the consumer? And more importantly, how does it help you meet the expectations of the empowered consumer? Where, where do you start? Well, you start by putting the consumer at the center of your marketing technology solution. You start with the Salesforce Marketing Cloud, the 
only integrated consumer engagement platform. And you start with Journey Builder, orchestrating consumer engagement, powered by the data in the data, ma data management platform and Data Studio, and then activated across every key touch point, email, mobile, advertising channels, and social, all powered by the intelligence of Einstein and enabled through the knowledge of Trailhead. And that's exactly how customer trailblazers like Nestle Waters and Carrefour are thinking about the marketing cloud. They're putting the consumer at the center. They're bringing in all the data, and then they're orchestrating across key touch points. But you know, in the age of intelligent marketing, consumer engagement is not just about marketing. That's why the marketing cloud is a part of the Salesforce customer success platform. The only platform that enables companies to manage consumer engagement across the complete journey. Marketing, commerce, service, communities. But this story is much bigger than just about great technology. Much bigger. Who's going to do this? Who is going to lead organizations forward in the age of intelligent marketing? You are. Our marketing trailblazers are. That's why we're here today. We're here to empower you. You are the innovators. You are the disruptors. You are the people who are continually hungry to learn how to shape the future and lead your organizations forward in the age of intelligent marketing. And Salesforce is the only company committed to empowering trailblazers on the path to intelligent marketing. And there are three steps every intelligent marketer takes on this path. Number one, they know everything they can about the consumer, right? We're in marketing, that's where we start. They bring all the data in and make sense of it. Data is the lifeblood of the modern marketer. The second thing they do is they engage the consumer across the complete journey, leveraging the power of the customer success platform. And number three, they personalize every brand interaction by leveraging data and the power of artificial intelligence. Now, I am really excited to bring these three concepts to life to you today through our customer trailblazers. That's why we're here. We're going to start out with the Sierra Club, and we're going to hear how the Sierra Club uses the marketing cloud to know everything they can about their consumers, or as they call them, their members and supporters. Next, we're going to uh, hear how Fidelity engages their consumers across the complete journey from hire to retire. And then third, we're going to hear how, how Hotels.com uses data and Einstein artificial intelligence to personalize every brand interaction at immense scale. It's going to be great. Let's kick it off with Sierra Club. All right. Now, many, uh, many of you have heard Mark say, right, the business of business is making this world a better place. And that's why at Salesforce, we have our 1-1 one -one model, where we give 1% of our product, 1% of our equity, and 1% of our time back to thousands of nonprofit organizations through Salesforce.org. One of my favorite nonprofits is the Sierra Club. It is a 125-year-old institution based right here in the Bay Area with more than three million members and supporters, all 
with a passion to protect our environment. And they're using the Salesforce Marketing Cloud, Journey Builder, and email and social to get closer to their members and supporters. And this is absolutely critical because as we said, the first step on the path to intelligent marketing is knowing everything you can about your consumers. That's why we have spent the last 17 years building the industry's most robust and flexible metadata model called Contacts, where customers are storing all their marketing data. And then those customers are syncing that data across the entire um, customer success platform. 12 billion records a day are synced so they, so they know everything about that consumer across the journey. And then on this very stage last year, we announced the acquisition of Crux Data Management Platform, now the Salesforce DMP. And that enables customers to bring in all the online signals, make sense of it, and then orchestrate brand experiences out. So now, please join me in welcoming Chris Thomas, Chief Innovation Officer of the Sierra Club, to talk about how they're using the marketing cloud to know everything about their consumers. Chris, come on up. All right. Chris, first of all, thank you for being here, and thank you for everything that the Sierra Club does. I mean, this is a really, really important mission you're on. Uh, Chris, can you tell everyone here in the audience and everyone watching online, how is the Sierra Club using the marketing cloud to get closer to your members and supporters? So we're really all about people. That's where we start. Everything people do with us, the way they engage with us, the support they lend to us, everything they do, that's what drives us. That's what makes us happen. That's what makes us work. So we engage people all over the place. We engage them offline. We engage them online. Uh, and that's what we're really you know, relying on is that support. So with this technology, what we're able to do is actually capture all of those transactions. Uh, we can get everybody all the support everywhere they are. Uh, we can capture what they're doing. We can bring that in. And that really helps us to understand what people are doing, what motivates them. And it builds power for us because we, you know, that, that's power we can demonstrate. We can demonstrate those signatures, those donations, those people turning out in the real world for, uh, for activities. So that's really powerful for well, us. That's incredible. So can you give us an example like, that you've been able to use the marketing cloud so you know your members and supporters? How have you used it? How have you activated them? What's some of the most recent things that you've done? So we're really interested in how to make that experience more sticky for people. So if they're engaging with us online, that if they have the feeling that the power is there, that what they're doing is moving the needle and making change happen. Uh, rapid response has become a huge thing for us. We're keeping up with the news cycle. And recently, we were able to, when uh, President Trump decided to pull out of the Paris uh, Climate Accord, um, we were able to actually deliver 60,000 signatures because of our use of marketing cloud to the White House as a protest to that decision. 60,000 signatures right. in 24 hours. Woo! 60,000, and that was, and you were able to use the marketing cloud to, to, to know them and again engage in rapid yes. response, right? Yes. And, and I'm going to say, I'm going to bet on a pretty small team, right? So you're doing this yeah. at a, I think the team's over here. I mean, yeah, that's yeah. incredible. Best team in the business. Best team in the business. Hey, Chris, you know, we're here to celebrate Trailblazers, and you and your team and the Sierra Club are absolute Trailblazers. Can you talk a little bit about how have you used technology to innovate? Yeah, so we're really thinking about, we're, we're 125 years old, grassroots, environmental, volunteer-driven organization. Our thinking now is how do we move that model into the future? So if you're doing grassroots organizing and you're doing it with thousands of people and activists all around the country, how do you transform that to millions of people? Right. And so this is what the technology promises for us. We traditionally use technology to bring people in and inspire them. Now we're actually thinking, how does technology transform the way that we do our grassroots organizing and allow people to create meaningful uh, engagement and meaningful um, participation that moves the needle on change. And they could be doing that uniquely online. And the technology en enables us to do that. Well, that's fantastic. And just by the little bit of round of applause we got on your one, the Paris Accord, what's next for the Sierra Club? I know you're on a big initiative. Yeah. Well, we're, we're data is a big thing for us in 2018. And uh, one of our big campaigns as well right now is uh, there's a proposition to raise the cost of entering national parks in the United States to the level of like what it costs to get into Disneyland. And we feel that that is actually uh, uh, bringing down the ability for people to access these uh, natural spaces. 
Um, it's an injustice, we think, so we're asking people to get out there and protest this. You can see uh, there's a number you can text up on the screen or you can go to our engagement platform, addup.org, and we love for your participation and your support in keeping uh, national parks open for everybody. Okay, hey, please take a picture of this. I mean, this is important, right? We all need to step up and support this cause. Chris, thank you so much thank for your you. time and thank, thank you, you for everything the Sierra Club does. Thank you. Support the, take a picture, okay? Fantastic. All right, now let's hear how Fidelity, uh, Fidelity is engaging their consumer across the complete journey. Everybody's path to retirement's different, but very few have a plan to get there. And they turn to Fidelity. It's our job to help them create that plan and manage towards the financial goals that they have. Benefits are personal. Everybody's in a different spot. And so we work very hard to develop relationships, understand individual goals, and really work with our customers to help them along that path. A lot of our communications were not focused on what was important to the client at that moment. We were operating very much in silos. Silos by audience, silos by product. To keep track of where each client was, what they were focused on, was really challenging. There was a vision of journey-based marketing. Salesforce enables us to build those customer journeys for each one of the 28 million customers that we serve. It all starts with the data. Marketing Cloud and Salesforce Service Cloud connected with our data in real time. And all the data that we collect enables us to be there in moments that matter. That's the holy grail for marketing. Right person, right time, right message. It's all within Marketing Cloud. Connecting Marketing Cloud plus Service Cloud actually helped us connect different teams. So it's not even now just marketing touches, but it's also triggering the service teams to reach out to customers. We put the power of the Salesforce technology in the hands of the relationship managers and allow them to guide our clients using Journey. So we always know where they are in the decision-making process, and they always understand the next step that needs to happen. And when we can connect, that entire ecosystem for each one of our customers, we're blazing a trail. Our business is all about people. For each customer to be able to achieve what their vision is of success for retirement, that is what is most important. Please join me in welcoming Senior Vice President of Product Management, Joanna Milliken, to the stage to talk about Fidelity. Thank you, Joanna. Thank you. Thank you. And hello, Dreamforce. So I joined Salesforce by way of the exact target acquisition. And as the first employee, I had a front row seat at the dawn of digital marketing. And now, a mere 16 years later, I am more excited than ever because of what's possible in the age of intelligent marketing. Specifically, I want to talk to you about Fidelity and how a 70-year-old financial services company is blazing the trail. In 2015, they launched a new strategy called the Moments That Matter. And it took them from a single-channel focus to one-to-one -to -one journeys and ultimately to connecting sales and service with marketing. And leading this transformation was Tracy McMullen, trailblazer. Because of the impact that Tracy had on the business, she earned the prestigious Fidelity President Circle Award. Tracy and the team are here with us today. Let's give these trailblazers a nice round of applause. Now, Fidelity sends over one billion messages a year interacting and building relationships with 28 million consumers who are investing their life savings. This is critical engagement at massive scale. And they do so with the marketing cloud. And I'm especially proud to say that we have built the largest and most robust system of engagement in the world. 
And what's the highest ROI engagement channel? Email, where we continue to innovate. Last year, we told you about Einstein engagement scoring, and we delivered. It is now possible for every marketer to predict a consumer's likelihood to engage with your brand. And we launched interactive content designed to help your emails stand out in a highly competitive inbox. And equally competitive is getting time and attention for your mobile app. And with our new Rich Mobile Push feature, you can add media to your notifications so that you can grab consumers' attention and keep them coming back to your apps. All of these features and more are available in your accounts right now. And we revolutionized multi-channel marketing when we unleashed Journey Builder in 2013. Journey Builder is what makes it possible to connect the entire consumer journey. And when we say the entire journey, we mean every moment that matters, not just the digital experience. And many of these moments are happening outside of marketers' control with sales reps or service agents. And that's why we're launching distributed marketing, so that you can empower those non-marketers to deliver personalized messages in the moments that matter. And consumers are also engaging in your online communities. And these are a great way for you to build brand advocates. And our new integration between Journey Builder and Community Cloud makes it possible for you to automate that engagement and build those thriving communities. Community journeys are available right now. And journey templates, because we want to make it easy for every marketer to be a trailblazer. We're launching with the most common use cases, and then we'll open that template framework so that customers and partners, you can create and share your own as well. Journey templates will be available for everyone in January. Now, what's next in the world of journeys? Well, we know that the journey isn't always linear, and marketers need to be able to react to unexpected consumer behavior. So we have new solutions that let you manage this real-time interaction and listen to all inbound activity and react to those events with the next best action. This is the immediacy that consumers crave. And this will be coming your way, you guessed it, January. The strength of our platform lets us extend our capabilities and integrate with industry-leading partners like Sitecore. Sitecore is Gartner's magic quadrant leader for web content management. Not one time, but eight times. And with our combined strengths and content and data, marketers can power personalization for the web and other experiences like never before. And yesterday, Mark made a huge announcement. We are entering into a unique partnership with Google. Google is the most used web analytics platform in the world. This is two industry leaders joining forces, and it couldn't be more exciting for marketers. And we are thrilled today to have joining us Google's global head of measurement and analytics, Babak Pahlavan. Hi, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, good afternoon. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Me and the rest of Googlers are super excited to be here. So tell us, what makes this partnership so unique for Google? So this is the first time ever that um, we're deeply connecting Google Analytics with all its web, uh, with all its rich web analytics data um, to a CRM and also a marketing automation solution outside of Google. This is the first time ever we're doing this. So that makes it pretty unique. So um, why is this beneficial to the marketers in the room? Well, for a number of years, we've heard um, that uh, it's a pretty difficult task to actually connect um, end users' interactions across on and offline um, into sort of a unified place so you can have a complete um, sort of view of a customer journeys, right? This is actually a pretty difficult thing to do. So um, with this integration now, now marketers can now 
connect up sort of the end user interactions across sales, advertising, and marketing into a unified place and also act on them. And because the integration is seamless, fast, and, and again, enable actions that were not possible before, we think it's a game changer for our joint customers. Well, this is terrific. Thank you again for being here. We so appreciate it. Yeah. Take care. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Appreciate it. All right. So let's get back to our friends at Fidelity. And let's see how they're using the marketing cloud to really engage with consumers. Thank you. So here we are on the Marketing Cloud homepage. And you'll see that we've given it a fresh new look using Trailhead and Lightning Design. You can still navigate to your favorite channel studios for email, mobile, social, and ads, as well as tools like Content Builder, where creative teams spend their time, or Contact Builder, where all that data comes together for the marketer. And this is just the start. As we move from a portfolio of products to a unified platform, we're streamlining everything into a single user experience, a single workflow for all channels. And this will all come together in Journey Builder. Now, Tracy, she wants to create a journey. She wants to create a journey to get people to complete their 401k enrollment. And she sees our new journey templates there across the top and she selects Einstein multi-channel engagement. And she's immediately dropped into a pre-configured journey where the first step is Einstein. Einstein is splitting her audience into people who are or aren't likely to engage with email. Now, where are my email marketers in the room? Because I have a challenge for us. I want to challenge us to think differently about how we send email. It is time that we stop sending messages to people who we know aren't going to engage with them. You now have the tools to do it. And in fact, Einstein does all the work for you. So let's put an end to list fatigue, and let's let Einstein increase ROI for email even more. Now, let's take a look at this new journey experience. And you see this left-hand drawer that slides in and out. This is the new unified workspace. This is where you'll do everything from audience segmentation to message creation. So Tracy selects an audience. And then, of course, she wants to use that cool new interactive content. And she drags and drops this photo gallery right here into her email. And you'll see this is eye-catching, rotating calls to action. And we use clicks, not code. Now this next step, this preview and test, this is a really critical step for every email marketer. And if you've ever sent a message to a large audience, then you understand that send button anxiety is a real condition. And I just want to personally thank all of our email trailblazers in the room who so bravely hit that send button every day. OK, so our dynamic content looks good. Tracy schedules the send, and that's it. It's faster, it's fewer clicks, and she never left the context of the journey. Now, for this next group of people, the ones that aren't as likely to engage with email, Tracy decides to try a different tactic. And we're going to send them a push message if they've downloaded the mobile app. And again, we do so in line in the journey. This is what we mean when we say one user experience, one workflow for all channels. And all these channels lead the consumer to the website to complete that 401k enrollment. So it's really important for Tracy to see what happens after those messages are sent. And now, because of our native integration with Google Analytics 360, she is one click away from seeing messaging and web behavior side by side. Here we are in the new Journey Analytics dashboard. And Einstein was right. Email engagement is strong. And click-through rates are higher than average. Now, the enrollment goal isn't quite where Tracy wants it to be. 
It's steadily increasing, but that total enrollment abandon rate is over 20%. And as she digs in further, she can see that the landing page where people make their investment selections, it has the most page views, but it also has the least average time spent on it. And in fact, where people are spending the most time is on the help pages. So this is great insight. Now Tracy knows people are getting stuck in a really important step of the process. And they're going looking for more information. So she can go back to the journey. And now with the data provided by Google, she can automatically retarget those people spending time on help and send them more educational content. This is the power and the efficiency of Marketing Cloud and Google Analytics 360 working together. Now there's one more group that Tracy hasn't accounted for, and that's the people who aren't engaging with email and who aren't downloading her mobile app. So she's going to use the new Journey Analytics integration with Service Cloud, and she's going to create a task for service reps to make proactive phone calls and offer more assistance. Let's see what this looks like in the service cloud. Now, here we are in the service console. And Susie, she's a relationship manager at Fidelity. And she now sees these tasks that were created for her in Journey Builder right here in her console. And as she's making those phone calls, she's learning things. She's learning things about the individual that marketing just wouldn't know. And because of distributed marketing, she's able to leverage that contextual insight and the power of journeys. Journeys are mapped directly to Salesforce campaigns right here in Service Cloud. She can see the journeys that are available to her, and she can select one that's the most relevant for her conversation. And then she can even personalize the marketing message and send that customer on his own unique path to financial health. This is relevant, this is personalized, and this is humanized. This is what it means to connect sales and service with marketing. This is what it means to engage across the entire consumer journey. And it's only possible with Salesforce. Thank you. Back to you, JSD. All right. Thank you, Joanna. Thank you so much. Now, now let's hear Let's hear how Hotels.com is using data and Einstein artificial intelligence to personalize every brand interaction. But first, let's hear from Captain Obvious. All 10 seasons in one sitting. That was amazing. The ceiling's all spiderwebs. We missed Grandpa's 99th birthday. Like I'm actively trying to stand up right now. And his funeral. Oh, I have a beard. Oh! A chip! <laughs> Binge watching isn't always rewarding, but Hotels.com is. Thanks, Captain Obvious. How long have you been here? Unlock instant savings now and earn free nights to use later. Hotels.com. Well, the only way you follow up Captain Obvious is by introducing Vice President of Product Management, Raji Bedev, to talk about hotels. Come on, Raji. All right. Thank you, JSD. I get a kick out of that commercial every time because I've done my fair share of binge watching, as you can tell by this beard that I'm rocking. <laughs> but I'm here to talk about Hotels.com. Now, Hotels is a trailblazer. Hotels operates in over 70 different countries at incredible B2C scale. And not unlike many of our other B2C customers, they're constantly fighting for the attention of their consumers. And that's especially true in this fourth industrial revolution with the proliferation of content, devices, and experiences. So what did they do? Well, eight years ago, they made the good decision to partner with the Salesforce Marketing Cloud and put the consumer and data at the center of everything they do. Fast forward, and they're sending 20 million personalized email and mobile messages to their consumers every day. And they send personalized advertising to over a billion devices. Three of the trailblazers that have led hotels on that journey are here with us today. Please join me in welcoming Verity Crush, Martin Allen, and Lee Daly. Thank you. 
Now, Hotels has been an early adopter of some of our most innovative products, and let's take a second to look at a few. And as Joanna mentioned earlier, earlier, the Salesforce Marketing Cloud is the largest and most robust system of engagement in the world. You heard? <laughs> and that's in part due to advertising products. Journey Builder Ads brings the power of Facebook advertising to direct marketers in the very same place they're sending emails every single day. And that's coming in January. And that's so significant because over two thirds of the world's online population spend some time on Facebook each month. And then there's the data management platform, the Salesforce DMP. Now think of the DMP as like an antenna. And every time a consumer interacts with your content, they throw off a little bit of data, a little bit of signal. And the DMP captures that data and amasses an incredible data and audience asset that you can use for engagement and personalization. And as that data asset grows, you kind of need machine learning or Einstein to help make sense of it. And products like Einstein segmentation help identify distinct and sometimes really surprising personas of your audience that you can use to form your personalization strategy. And advertisers and ad agencies are DMP trailblazers. But we are seeing a convergence of advertising and, mar and marketing, which is why we're so excited to introduce in January a deeper integration between the DMP and the rest of Marketing Cloud, bringing the power of that incredible DMP data asset to direct marketers to personalize their engagement on email and mobile channels as well. Now, data is going to be your differentiator. And Data Studio, launched one month ago and available now, provides marketers with even more access to data via a trusted and secure data sharing platform. Marketers can discover data that resonates with them, and they can use that data to deepen their insights or widen their reach. Now we're seeing that marketers are seeing a 30% increase in their ability to reach their target audience with the help of Data Studio. That's incredible. And data owners love Data Studio. And that's because it provides them a revenue channel with granular controls and transparency to protect their data. And that's so significant because trust is Salesforce's number one value. And Data Studio is built with privacy by design, respecting the terms of data owners and consumers alike. Now, social operates on a completely different set of terms, where there are millions of unsolicited conversations happening about your brand every single day. And Social Studio provides tools to listen to and engage in those conversations. Products like Command Center and Workbenches help you visualize all of those conversations. And Einstein Social Insights leverages machine learning for text analysis and image recognition so you can identify the various topics that are getting the attention of your consumers and use that to inform what you're going to do for personalization. All of this is available right now. So let's take a second to see how Hotels puts all of that together. Now, Hotels has been at this for a long while. And they've oriented their entire marketing strategy around several key audiences audiences that matter to them most. And one of those is their gold customers, their best customers, most engaged customers. And they utilize the marketing cloud to engage with that audience everywhere, on all channels. They use the DMP to grow their total addressable market and light up digital advertising channels. And they use Social Studio to identify the various topics that are getting the attention of their consumers. And as you can see here, their audience is talking about a whole lot more than hotels, which leads them to believe they need to think more carefully about context and personalization. Now, the first thing they typically do is they send their audience a double night's loyalty promotion, and that works really well. But as many of you know in this room and watching online, four in five of those email recipients aren't actually engaging with that email. And now with the power of Journey Builder ads, 
They can use Facebook to get their attention. And right here, a marketer with no prior experience setting up a Facebook campaign can launch one from end to end with just a few clicks of their button. Boom, just like that. Isn't that cool? Now, Hotels is a trailblazer, and they want to use data to think more deeply about personalization to get an edge with their best customers. And that's where the DMP comes into play. Now, the DMP gives them a view into their known customers and subscribers, but it now gives them access to all of those consumers that are clicking and viewing, swiping and touching hotels content online and offline. And that has grown their addressable market from tens of millions of subscribers to hundreds of millions of devices. And Data Studio played a big role in that. Now, Data Studio enables them to leverage peer-to-peer -peer relationships with some of the most premier and exclusive data providers in the world. And as you can see here, they can see that they've got a large, a large amount of their audience is engaging on eHow.com. And they can find a whole lot more people there as well. Isn't that interesting? How else would they know that? It's incredible. So there's a lot of data in here. So how do they pour over all of that data to get an edge with their best, most engaged customers? They're not going to click through 1.1 million records and somehow find some interesting pattern that they can action on. It's not feasible. It's not scalable. And many of you don't have access to a data scientist or a statistician to help you pour through all of these customer records. Well, the great thing about the marketing cloud is that Einstein is everywhere. And Einstein democratizes access to data science with products like Einstein Segmentation, which studies people and their attributes and clusters people with common attributes. And as you can see here, there are a cluster of gold customers that appear to have these attributes in common, like an affinity for Top Chef and a membership in the James Beard Foundation. Hang on a second. Did they just find a cluster of foodies? Foodies? Can you believe that? That's crazy. And that's only possible with the, the power of the DMP, Data Studio, Einstein, and consumer consent, of course. Now, the next thing that Hotels wants to do is find which of these foodies are ready to purchase. And that's important because that's how they're going to find their ROI on their next engagement. And they can leverage a great product called Einstein Journey Insights, which surfaces all of those audiences that are demonstrating a propensity to purchase. And in this case, they can see that 128,000 foodies have browsed hotels, mobile, and web app. They've searched three times. And they were exposed to a digital advertising campaign. And this sequence of activity closely resembles those people that have purchased in the past. So they know that this audience is ready to move. And now they can activate and engage in a very personalized way with this audience on digital advertising channels. They can personalize their experience on web and mobile apps. And there it is. They can also personalize their engagement on email and mobile. So what does that mean? That means the Salesforce Marketing Cloud is a system of engagement for advertisers and marketers. And now all of the marketers in this room can leverage the DMP data asset to hyper-personalize and craft emails to their customers that will resonate with them. They can personalize the subject of that email. And they can personalize the body of that email in a way that will get the attention of foodies. But that's not all. They can also personalize all of the ads they're seeing on the open web. They can also personalize their mobile and web experience. Isn't that incredible? Hotels is using the Salesforce Marketing Cloud to have one conversation with all of their customers across all channels. Hotels is absolutely a trailblazer. And they're using the full power of the Salesforce Marketing Cloud to intelligently market to their audiences and drive real business outcomes. Now wait for it. You watching? <laughs> Early customers that are doing this type of personalization 
are seeing a 500% increase in their, in their conversion compared to untargeted and unpersonalized messages. 500%, it's crazy. And it's happening in one place, one integrated place, and that's the Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Back to you, JST. All right, Raji. Thank you, Raji. Okay, thank you so much. Hey, listen, you heard a lot of amazing content from my colleagues, some of it, of it which is available in January, but the vast majority is available right now. Right? So text NEWS to 56237 to get more information. You can also go to marketingcloudreleases.com. But while you're here at Dreamforce, make sure you go over to the Palace Hotel and the Marketing Lodge, as well as visit the Customer Success Expo, and then continue that journey uh, online at trailhead.com. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for spending the time. Have a great week at Dreamforce. Cheers.